everyone, it's Miss Carla from the Alonco Library. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another um, video of Santa Forgot and So Did You. Today we're going to be making gnomes. I tried really hard to use items around my house, um, but I'll tell you what I wasn't able to find around my house. Um, I'm excited to make these gnomes. So we're going to use a sock, a mismatched sock. This is one of... This one's been living in my drawer for a long time, and I guess I keep thinking that the other one's gonna magically appear, and it just hasn't. Um, I have some felt. I did buy this from the Creative Reuse in Lancaster. So I was excited that I still have this. This is gonna be the hat. I don't have faux fur. I'm gonna use yarn, because I'm a crocheter, and I use yarn all the time, and I will show you how I use yarn to make the beard. Um, if you want a different look, I would do, I would go ahead and buy faux fur. Um, I don't have a hot glue gun, so this can be a no-sew project if you don't know how to sew. But I know how to sew. I'm going to use um, some thread and some needles. Um, I will give more instructions about no-sew later. Um, you're going to need rice. <laughs> we keep our rice in this big container from Ikea. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, we're definitely a rice family and some polyfill, some stuffing. If you have an old pillow that you're not using, go ahead and grab that and take the stuffing from that. Um, you're going to need some scissors and the last thing, you're going to need a wooden nose. So when I searched on Amazon for wooden noses for gnomes, they're like $16. It was ridiculous amounts, I thought. I eventually found something that looks okay. We'll see how it actually looks and it's... uh. So they're called button plugs. They're three eighths. They're hardwood. Um, and it, they look like a good substitute. And I got a whole bunch, 50 counts. This is a 50 count uh, for like $2. It's really weird. Here we go. <laughs> so that's a pretty cute nose. Okay. <laughs> And you are going to need glue or a hot glue gun or cement glue, whatever you got. All right, we are going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this sock and we're going to fill it up with some rice. So I'll see you guys at the end. All right, so I did put about a cup and a half of rice into my sock. And um, I cut off about two inches at the top. What I'm going to do is I am going to sew this shot um, to make it like a little, to make it look like this basically. You can go ahead and use hot glue and just sew this shut too, or hot glue it shut and it should have the same effect. No one should be able to see this because this should be covered with the gnome hat. Um, and yeah. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to make the beard with this yarn. What I'm going to do is kind of wrap it around my fingers several times like you're going to make a pom-pom. And you can do it, some people do pom-poms like a hundred times. Um, so I'm just going to wrap it until I think it's enough beard. <laughs> and then we'll um, go from there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to use some yarn to um, tie up on the top. If that makes any sense, it's going to look like this. I'm going to knot it. Make it tight, not super tight, but you know, 
I'm gonna gather around the nose, so. All right. And I'm going to cut off the ends here. Use my fabric scissors. Just because it'll be quicker and probably look a little nicer. Okay. And there we go. If you really want to, you can um, undo each yarn, if that makes any sense, like pull it apart. Uh, maybe if you have a super fine comb, it'll get it all out to make it look a little more scraggly, but um, I'm not super interested in doing that. So yeah. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna sew this beard on. Um, you can also just hot glue this guy on, whatever um, you have available. All right, so I went ahead and glued this wooden knob on. It's a little small, but I think it's still kind of cute. Another thing I just thought of too is you can take a button, maybe, and just sew it right on too. Just if you have a button laying around, like one of those um, black knobby types. All right, so I'm gonna take a piece of my felt, um, and I'm gonna fold it this way. This piece of fabric is about I say eight and a half by eleven. It looks like about like a sheet of paper. I would take my scissors and I would cut from the bottom corner all the way to the um, part in the middle. And this is what it should look like. And what we're going to do first, and this is a little tricky, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half again, and I am going to tuck this tip in and then fold it right there. I'm gonna fasten it with a bobby pin because I am sewing it. Um, if you guys aren't sewing it, I would just hot glue it right there and right then and there. That's what that's look that's what that looks like. The next thing I'm going to do is um, fold this over a little bit. I'm going to Take it, fold it just a little bit, and try to meet it right here. And flip it over, and this is what it's going to look like. Take a bobby pin, and just fasten it right there. It's okay if these are sticking out like this. We'll probably just cut it all the way around when we get there. But I'm going to sew this shot. You can, um, if you're not sewing, you can just go ahead and hot glue it. What I'm also going to do, well, I'm going to sew this first is what I'm going to do. We're going to flip it inside out and then I'm going to stuff it with some polyfill to make it stay up a little bit better.
All right, so he does have stuffing in his hat. Um, I, I flipped it inside out. I put stuffing in the hat and then I sewed it to the body. You can, um, you can just hot glue it on. Like I said, I can't put my hot glue on. So I ended up sewing it <laughs> to his body. But hopefully you guys, I find him cute. His name is Ronnie. Alright everyone, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you guys enjoy your little gnomes. <laughs> um, stay safe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!